Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. For the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, and it will be from the 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. I hope you well. Let's get, get straight into the cards. Um, I'm using an overarching tarot card this week, so main tarot, and we'll pull an oracle card at the end. So this is the Tarot Grand Lux. So what do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Taurians, thank you. 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021. Message for Taurus. Okay, what do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides for the week. Overarching energy, please. flew out so let's go with it Taurus oh wow <laughs> well it is your season isn't it Taurus let's face it and we have the wheel of fortune as your overarching energy which is pretty special okay message for Taurus please angels spirits guides message for Taurus for the week starting with the challenge position we're looking at 3rd to the 9th of May 2021 for Taurus So Taurus, I'm going to pull three cards, you know by now, and then we clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay. Message for Taurus, please. Message for our lovely Taurians, thank you. I like the first card to fall out from each deck. Message for Taurus, thank you. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands. Ace of Pentacles is advice from Spirit and the Page of Wands is your near future outcome. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Taurus, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides, can we clarify the cards on the table for Taurus? 3rd to the 9th of May 2021, please. Thank you. One more shuffle. You know how I like to shuffle well. <laughs> so what do we have for Taurus, please? Starting with the Six of Wands. We have the Four, <coughs> sorry, the Four of Wands. I'm suffering from allergies at the moment, so bear with me. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Ten of Pentacles here, Taurus. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. Interesting. Let me clarify that Six of Cups. The Emperor. And I'm going to clarify this Four of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands here. I'm going to pull one for the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Hope. Uh, star energy. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, lovely. Beautiful. Love the Wheel of Fortune. Um, and why do we love the Wheel of Fortune? Because... It promises things are opening up for us, expansion, growth, good luck, good fortune. Um, it's divine timing, things happening when they're meant to happen. And it's a rewarding energy. If you've put in a lot of effort and hard work, it, it feels very much the universe is rewarding you in kind, you know, with something good. This can be a transmutable energy of endings and beginnings, but there's definitely this energy here, Taurus, of very good in terms of money career i have to say um the wheel of fortune it's such a lovely energy uh yeah it's destiny 
It's a card of destiny. Things are turning in your favour. So, and it's with the help of divine help. You know, it's divine help. It's interesting, isn't it? Because, you know, you see different cards. You, you see, you know, the meaning that I'm getting with the Four of Wands, I mean, it can be to do with happy home, celebration, um... A small achievement you know and there could be some news or a conversation or something a shift that's happening that is that is going to bring progress to a situation so it can be in the home a relationship you know um but i'm also seeing with this with the divine energy here 11 11 now 11 11 can be instant manifestation what you've been taking action towards there could be swift change coming your way maybe some news or um, a connection that you're making an opportunity that's coming call it what you will but there's swift change coming your way here um, and it's i'm seeing 11 11 which is people from the other side who you've lost to the other side are sending you signs symbols blessings messages um so a, a divine help divine assistance with this as well taurus very lovely energy indeed. Because, you know, the Six of Wands is a card of a significant achievement, a victory. Um, but you overcome a challenge with the Six of Wands. It has taken a lot of strength, a lot of courage, uh, resilience, resoluteness to overcome this challenge. Uh, and there's definitely this energy of, I mean, you might be, it can be a card of, of recognition, but it definitely feels some kind of significant victory, some positive shift is coming your way. And it generally comes when there's been some challenge to overcome. So it feels very, very beautiful indeed, Taurus. It feels something is going to come out of the blue. It just feels something is going to come out of the blue. Because, you know, it, it feels that, I mean, Spirit is saying you're being given. Again, this is divine energy. This, this, this helping hand, this gift, this Ace of Pentacles, which can be to do with money, career, financial opportunity. Uh, can also link with moving, relocating as well. And again, there's some movement here. You might have to move home with this victory. It might well be something that you need to consider here. Um, but it definitely feels in this situation that there is just this panic of, okay, what do I need to do for this new opportunity? What are the things we need to prioritise? Where do we need to place our focus? It just feels like this. This fast period of adjustment is coming your way. I'm definitely getting this kind of energy of just, okay, it's all hands on deck. You know, where do we need to place our focus? Let's do things in order. It, it just feels that's what you're doing. You know, and it's because something is coming in quickly. But this is beautiful. It's a new beginning energy. Um very good in terms like i said i mean it can be money career can be moving relocating can be both um if there's some decision that you have to make to you know go for this job maybe there's some decision here but it definitely feels this is a golden opportunity for you it's earth energy as well so very much in line with your elements something that suits you perfectly yeah because the Page of Wands, and this is the near future, near future energy, is it can be good news to do with an opportunity. There's real potential. And it feels to do with some opportunity here. And I just feel with this energy, I mean, you might be dealing with somebody in authority, Taurus. Uh, there could be some communication from somebody in authority. Um, the Six of Cups, it, it feels in this energy, this is back in your power as well, back in control, reconnecting to your own joy, your own happiness, finding your happy equilibrium here. 
For some of you, the opportunity could be at a past company, somebody who, where you've worked in the past. And there could be somebody giving you some news to do with going back to that company. I mean, if you're not happy where you are, or there could be a promotional opportunity or an opportunity with more money where you're absolutely valued here. Um, for some of you, there could be also a past place that you've worked. You might be going back there. But this is absolutely beautiful. The star is a card of renewal, hope, faith, optimism. Um, it's a card of blessings. You're being given divine wish fulfillment, blessings from the universe. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is a card of, of material success, money, career, not just for you, but for your home, your family. Um, and the desire to, to be as successful as you can, to build that castle for your family. You know, it's, it's that kind of energy. Um, but this is a beautiful energy of blessings from the universe. It's absolutely lovely energy. Um, it's a card of you stepping into your truth as well. There's a lot of truth to do with that. Um, this is me shining, you know, as I truly am. You know, because, you know, the, the celestial being is, is naked, they're in their truth, there's nothing hidden, they're revealing their truth. This is a sense of renewal, hope, faith, optimism. So it feels absolutely beautiful. But I'm definitely getting either some opportunity, and it feels like it's coming in fast. Things are opening up for you, and it's definitely an energy of, of clo as one, as closing one door and opening another one. And it feels very quick um, and it definitely feels in this energy there could be more money associated with this now for some of you that is the opportunity the new door the new beginning for some of you it might well be working at somewhere where you used to work as well there could be something the next level opening up for you that is bringing in more money more advancement title changes um, more responsibility you know it's that kind of energy so it feels very, very beautiful indeed, Taurus. Um, love the energy here. Things are absolutely turning in your favour. Wow. So let's pull a card. Yeah, I and mean, it doesn't surprise me. New beginnings. <laughs> so uh, we have new beginnings. This fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. This is absolutely beautiful. But I'm definitely seeing 11-11 here. But for some of you, it might well be that there is some shift or movement, you know, travel, whatever this is that needs to happen here. But it definitely feels like some beautiful opportunity that is perfect for you. Um, it has your name on it. <laughs> it's almost like somebody is saying, you know, that person is perfect for this role, you know, and that's what I'm getting with this energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Taurus. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.